Hello and welcome to the shop. I was out turning a bespoke pin. This is the body of a pin. And I went ahead and I cut a tenon and you can maybe see the threads on there. And I drilled a hole down the middle and while I was tapping it, it came apart on me. I wasn't able to find the parts. And uh, even if I did, I'm not so sure I would have glued it back together. I was really frustrated. This was a couple of days ago and I just basically left the pin on the lathe and went in the house and just said, oh, to heck with it, I've lost that blank. Well, after a couple of days of not working on it, something came to me, and I'm gonna try something tonight. Where this tenon is, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a parting tool and clean that right off. Then I'm gonna tap a hole that will accept these threads inside of the body of this pin. I'm gonna take a scrap piece of alumilite, and I'm gonna turn what basically amounts to a pipe nipple. I'm going to thread it into here, put a little bit of CA glue on there, which will solidify it. Then I can clean the outside up and I'm going to continue working on this blank. And I'm hoping that doing this will enable me to fix this blank and save it because I really love the look of this blank and I really wanted to make a pin out of it. So let's head over to the lathe and we're going to take a shot at fixing the bespoke body that uh, we screwed up. I've got my blank back on the lathe. You can probably see it a little bit better how it exploded right there, and there are the threads. We're gonna go ahead now and just park this little section off. I'm now gonna drill a 12 millimeter hole into this blank roughly an inch and a half deep. I do not have a 12 millimeter bit, so I'll be using a 15 30 seconds bit, which is just a little shy of 12 millimeters. The reason I drilled the hole so deep into the blank is I want to be able to put as much of the tap into the blank as possible uh, because it's very narrow down here and you're not actually tapping to the proper size until you're farther back on the tap. Okay, I can feel the tap bottoming out. So at this point, I'm just gonna stop and uh, back it out of the blank. I've chucked up a scrap piece of Alumilite and I'm gonna turn it down to about 5 eighths of an inch so that it fits into this collet chuck. Now, 5 eighths of an inch equates to about 15 and a half millimeters, which is perfect. I'll be able to flip this around, put it in the collet chuck, then we'll be able to turn this piece down to 13 millimeters and we'll be able to thread it from hopefully one end to the other. I've got this blank turned down to 15 and a half millimeters and I was preparing to remove it from my pin jaws and install it in the collet chuck and something occurred to me. If I take the body of the pin out of the collet chuck, I may not be able to get it perfectly centered when I reinstall it. So why don't I go ahead, turn this down to 13 millimeters, we'll thread it, then we can just install this in the body of the pin, which is already in the collet chuck and perfectly centered. We could put that back on the lathe and then finish threading the other end of this, uh, which is currently in the pin jaws. At this point, I have bottomed the blank out inside of the die. So I can't go any further. I'm gonna go ahead and back it off. 
Then I'm gonna flip the die around and I'm gonna run it back up on the threads just to clean them up and make sure the threads all have the proper depth and pitch. I'm gonna clean the blank off with a little denatured alcohol. Uh, that way I'll be able to use some CA glue and glue it into the body of my pen. I've got the body of my pen back on the lathe. I actually put denatured alcohol inside of the body, swirled it around, and then ran a paper towel in there uh, to clean that up. Here's the piece we just turned. I'm gonna test it, fit it, and it fits nicely. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get some CA glue. Uh, we're going to cover this with CA glue and we're going to thread it into the blank and let it dry. I think what I'm gonna do to keep the mess down is I'm actually going to put the CA inside of the blank. And now we're gonna thread this piece in quick enough to get it lubed up and nice and tight in there. There we go. After only a few seconds, it's already locked in place. I grabbed a 5 16 inch drill bit and I set my calipers for 5 16 of an inch. And what I'm gonna do now is make a mark on my blank and we're gonna follow that mark or carry that mark all the way around the blank. And I'm gonna get this parted off, this piece here parted off. This is the proper depth we need for threads on our pin body. I'm gonna cut a relief on the back of the shoulder and then we'll bring our die back out and go ahead and get this piece threaded up. Now we'll flip the die around and finish the threads off. And just like that, we have saved the body of this pin. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've watched other videos of mine, you know that I hate to give up on a blank. It just drives me nuts. And um, this blank, I thought I was going to have to give up on because I couldn't find the pieces. And as I said before, even if I had, I wasn't sure uh, that I would be able to glue it back up and get it to work. And I was a little bit depressed about it. Uh, so I just sort of put it out of my mind, which was the best thing I could have done because all of a sudden something hit me. I started thinking about a pipe nipple where you would put two pieces of pipe together and I thought, you know, I wonder if I could take a scrap piece of alumilite and make an alumilite nipple to fix this pin. And it looks like it's going to work just fine. It's on the inside of the pin, so yes, you'll see it when you take the cap off, but with the wild colors that this pin is, I don't think it looks that bad. Um, had I had a, another piece of this material, I would have used it so that it matched a little better. But the idea was to prove the theory and to prove that it would work. And I think that I've done that and I'm very happy. So this video's done. I gotta get this back on the lathe and I'm gonna go ahead and finish the video where I was turning this pin. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening, everybody.